Labeling and Traceability of Canadian Seafood Let's start with seafood labeling and why it's important. Proper labeling can help us assess the sustainability of seafood because in order to determine its sustainability ranking, we need to have some information. More specifically, we need to know what it is, where it was caught, and how. Knowing the species scientific or Latin name helps avoid confusion as one type of fish could have a variety of different names based on things like language, culture, or region. We also need to know where the fish was caught or, if it's a farmed fish, where the farm is located. Knowing the origin of the fish can help us pinpoint more specific information about it, such as that particular species population health and abundance or that region's management rules and regulations. Knowing the catch method, or gear type, can inform us about environmental impacts on other species caught in the gear or other impacts on the larger ocean environment. So, when talking about fish being caught from all over the world and sold in Canada, labeling that can tell us the seafood name, location, and catch method would allow us to make informed, sustainable choices. Unfortunately, not all seafood that is imported into Canada has this level of detail accompanying it. When looking at the sustainability of imported seafood, a small portion is green ranked, larger portions are yellow and red ranked, the biggest portion? That indicates seafood we simply can't rank because we don't have enough information, hence unrankable. Why is 40% of imported seafood considered unrankable? Well, the primary reason is that most of this seafood is imported with generic or undetailed labels. Would you buy other types of food labeled like this? Having a generic label means that you can have a variety of fish from different regions caught in different ways all clumped together in one box or one package, making it nearly impossible to differentiate one from another. Where does all this generically labeled seafood go? A lot of it goes into things like fish meal or fish oil, but over a third of it we actually aren't sure where it ends up. Your frozen fish sticks perhaps? Let's take a look at rockfish for an example. Currently, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency only requires the seafood's common name to be labeled. In this case, the common name rockfish can actually be referring to over 100 distinct species of fish. So how can proper seafood labeling help? With better labeling, we can more easily trace it back to its source to see where it came from. We can also assess its environmental sustainability to promote healthy fisheries and aquaculture. Another benefit is not just knowing where it came from, but who is involved in the supply chain along the way. So we're simply asking that all seafood in Canada be accompanied with proper labeling, whether it's produced here, imported, or exported. You can help by demanding better labeling and traceability wherever you buy seafood. Just remember to ask, what is it, where was it caught, and how was it caught? Then take a look at our Sea Choice Seafood Guide to see whether or not it's a good, sustainable choice. You can find it on our website at seachoice.org, or if you have an iPhone, download our app to answer your sustainable seafood questions on the go. Celebrate Sea Choice's 10 year anniversary and learn more about sustainable seafood by visiting our Facebook page, following us on Twitter, checking out our photos on Instagram, or by visiting our website. To read our report, Taking Stock. Sustainable Seafood in Canadian Markets. Click here.